with this project, we're going to create a showcase inside the auditorium. We're going to have four different walls that we're going to be starting with here. You have one, two, three, and four. For this project, we're going to go ahead and showcase some of the, the work you've already created. Uh, we could turn any of the 3D models that you already have made into short animations. And you would just tell me inside of a file that I give you, inside of a template, where you want those animations to be displayed. So we're going to be using a few different programs. We're going to be using Vector, which is online. You're going to be using 3D Builder. You're going to be going back to Tinkercad and you can also use Paint 3D. So if you haven't already installed 3D Builder, you could click down here on the bottom shopping bag. And if it looks like it's loading and it's not, you could click on this white square on top, click it again, click on see all, and you could scroll down till you find 3D Builder, click on it. You're going to install and then open it. Okay, so the easiest way to start with this project is to turn your 3D models into animations. So I'm going to go over to Tinkercad. I'm going to show you how to take a 3D model from Tinkercad. Here's one of the pumpkins that I had previously created. You could do this with the treasure chest if you're in my advanced class of the hand. You could also do this with the robot that you created if you're in my introduction class or the spirit animal. Okay, so here is my Tinkercad file. I'm gonna to go to export, and we're gonna export this a little bit differently than usual. Uh, here is a GLB. We're gonna export it as a GLB because that exports the color. That's gonna to go to my downloads folder. I'm gonna go over to my downloads folder. There it is there. Uh, if you go ahead and open up this window, or expand this window. Sometimes it'll tell you which format it is on the right hand side, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the file name. So right click, I'm gonna go down to open with, then I'm gonna go over to paint 3D, and there's my pumpkin there in color. So once that loads, I'm gonna add an animation to it. You can also add a background by clicking on canvas, click on canvas, and there's my background there. You could add a sticker to the background or image to the background. So let's say, right, this is a jack lantern you could go online, find an image of something that looks like a haunted house and put it in the background by clicking on stickers, saving that image of the haunted house on your computer and then opening it up here by clicking on this folder. Add, click on add sticker and then you would load that image of that haunted house if you wanna add that to the background. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go back to canvas, switch it off and I'm gonna show you how to turn this into an animation. So I'm gonna to go to menu, save as, click on video, then you have six different animations. You could also play around with some of these settings if you scroll down, it looks like it's hidden, but you have to scroll down here to, to find those. So this one makes the jack line look like it is floating, and it's gonna we're gonna save these as videos here. So I like the way that it's already floating already. So I'm gonna click on save, and you would do this for three other 3D models that you have created. So, so I'm already in my documents folder, I'm just gonna Click up here, click up to make sure I'm in the correct academic year, right? This was a previous year. So make sure you're in the correct year for this class if you haven't more than once. So here's the year we're currently in. Make sure that you click on the period that you have my class, the semester we're currently in, and then I'm gonna create a new folder. This one's gonna be called Showcase. I'm gonna go inside that folder and I'm gonna call this Darth Vader. And save. So these are our videos, they are gonna take a little bit longer. In the meantime, what we can do is we could go over here to Microsoft Edge. I'm gonna click on the plus sign here. From here, you're gonna to go to a website called Vector, V-E-C-T-R.com. So V-E-C-T-R.com. You're gonna click on this login link even though you don't have a login yet, then you're gonna click on sign up. So you'll click on sign up. All right, when you click on sign up, your username, have that be your student ID or your student email. Over here where it says email, obviously make that your student email. And then you're gonna go ahead and create a password. All right, but I'm gonna go here where it says login because I already have a login. And if that login button isn't showing, you just click off to the side and then click on back. So there's my login link. And I'm gonna click over here on the top left and where it says new artwork. I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna click on custom size. And you can change this here. I'm gonna change the, the file name. I'm gonna call it showcase 
2022 for the year. And the width, I'm going to give it 1920 by 1080. Uh, we, yeah, we can leave that pixels. I'm going to lock it in and create. And I'm going to go back to Teams. We're going to download a file that I give you. We're going to download this file here to start with. So it's going to be called wallmask2.svg. Um, this is actually different layers. This PNG is just one layer here. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. So I'm going to click on the three dots on the right hand side. Click on download. That went to my downloads folder. So I'm going to go back to vector. Click on this upload button on the left hand side. Go to my downloads folder. Here's the wall mask here. I'm going to open that up and it's going to load there. Right now, if I click over here on the left hand side, it's going to say layers. It says group, right? And you only see one layer here. Just, this is just one layer. So I'm going to go back over here, right click and ungroup. And it unpackages that group of layers here. So each of these, I'm going to click off here. So if I click on this layer, it's this third one click on this one is this fourth one here all right so what you could do is you could lock these so that they don't move around you could hide them if you need to for whatever reason and what you could also do is I'm gonna unlock this last one I'm gonna click on this layer here you could click in this circle on the top right and I'm gonna make this really dark here this is the transparency and then this is the color here. So I'm going to click on this color and then make sure that my fills color is in. So the shape I had was selected and now it's colored in with the color that I chose when I clicked on this circle here. All right, so let's say that's where if your screen gets out of focus, you could hold down control tab zero and that'll bring you back to seeing your whole model there. Let's say that this last wall is where I want my pumpkins. You would just grab the text tool, come over here and type in the word pumpkins, right? Let's say that you want that blue there though as well. So what you want to do is I can lock it. I use my text tool and just clicked up here and I type in pumpkins, right? So there's pumpkins there and I'll just put that over the outline of that shape there. Anything that's inside of this outline of these shapes that I gave you is what's going to be projected inside the auditorium. Anything that's outside these shapes will not be visible. So make sure that whatever it is that you want there to be visible, that you put it inside these outlines. So this word will get cut off. If I put it here, if I put the word pumpkins, that's going to be part of your design. And that's not what you want to show people, right? You want to have that off to the side so that I know this is the wall that you want your pumpkins to be displayed. Now I'm going to use a separate software to actually drag and drop the video of your pumpkins there. So let's go see what that looks like now. I'm going to go back to paint. It looks like it's saved. I'm going to open this video up here. I'm going to go to documents, the year we're currently in, the semester we're currently in, the project that we're working on, and there's the video there, right? So you would attach this video and you would attach this file here. So let me show you how to save this file, right? So you could decorate these different walls using the pen tool, right? I'll attach a, another video to this assignment so you could see how I use the pen tool, or you could just include uh, the text of the animation that you want me to display for you in these different walls here, right? So let's say you have your pumpkins there, you want your robot here, or your spirit animal in this wall. All right, so I could put your spirit animal there. And if your text gets cut off, right, you just click on this bottom handle there and then drag down. So let's say that you need to send this to me, right? I want you to send this to me as a PNG. So I'm gonna go to export, top right, and then, and then change SVG to PNG, and we're downloading that. All right, so we're gonna go to downloads and click on file, new window. I'm gonna go to downloads. Don't just leave everything inside your downloads folder, right? So this is the file here that you need to attach. And you also need to attach your videos. So here's the file. So these are the two files here that you need to include for the project inside of Teams. So attach both of these, the videos and the PNG of your wall mask, right? So if I click on this, 
It has the blue that we added and then up here on the top I could see the titles of where you want your animation So this is the pumpkins and then this is the spirit animal So if you have any questions of how to bring any of your 3d models from Tinkercad how to turn them into GLBs load them into paint 3d to add an animation and then create that file inside of vector go ahead and let me know Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And feel free to watch any of the other related videos.